It's an 11th round TKO in a fight that he was trailing on a scorecard. Here. There's that big sweeping right hand from David Tua. A Bayabuchi, though, look at this. This thing to figure out in certain instances, and it's no secret that he should use the jab. Years of this heavyweight division. And I like, I think he's making is he's constantly doing good. It's loose, he could start jab and then pump the right hand right behind it. There's a right hand from David Tua's crowd in Sacramento. Abeobuchi goes back to the left hook. Tua trying to rally at the end. Abeobuchi meets him. What a strong start for the Nigerian native. Looking at Tua's previous fights, anything can happen. Comes in the form of that jab. He is committed to it early on. Left hook. Got to negate some of that because right now, right in front of him. Right hand over the top from Abeobuchi. Have a good selection of punches. He uppercuts, he hooks to the body. And Ike right back at him with a left right of his own. There's a short uppercut on the inside before Tua comes back with a left hook. But 97. On the one punch. Warning from Lou Filippo. You look at him, you wouldn't think this is how he fights. Four rounds in the books. There's that left hook from Tua, his signature punch. Left hook of his own. Tua now opens up with a left hook, and Abiyabuchi returns fire. Double left hook from Tua. The way he's giving Tua things to think about. Double left hook by Tua. Good left hook here, and he got some leverage into it. And the subsequent right hands and double left hook. Tua's starting to feel a little bit more comfortable. There's a good right hand, but he seems like he's getting into a little bit. Right hand over the top. Tyson had those fast hands, and on the inside, he, he had blistering combinations that he let go to the body. Uh, so easy to make those comparisons to Tyson. Tua, with this fight, seems to be going with one or two big punches at a time, and that's not going to work, apparently. There's that right hand from David Tua, lunges in with the left. Here before the eighth round, he said you got to make a strong run at him. So maybe not where Tua needs to take advantage. Oh, good short right hand sequence. Right lead, left hook by Tua. Tua, right hand to the body underneath. Could be Abuchi and his commitment. To, he stayed right. with it. Oh, for sure. He's, he's, he's being consistent. Oh, hey. Here we are in round number nine. He would have been able to stay with this pace for this long. Oh, good uppercut. Throw one and two with each other for the rest of the fight. Somebody's got to separate themselves. And now Tua. Combination at the end at the belt. It seemed like a Tua round. Abuchi in the ninth, John. Nice triple hook, and this is the most telling punch of the fight, I think. That was the last nine minutes go. He has proven himself. Just like that. There it is. Four jabs in a row. Five for my Abuchi. Back to it. Tua comes in with the left hooks. He could... He could bomb to her with that if he really committed to it. This is a good round for Abibuchi. It really sure good. is. And just with the jab. That's a Larry Holmes type of round. He throws the jab. Oh, here comes Tua. Four or five punches. And he, right and he back gives at it him. back to him. That's right what he needs to do. Him. 11th round here in Sacramento. He's Tries good. an uppercut of his own. Tua he's, comes back. He's taking the best shot. He's been able to return fire. And he's also strong. He's pushing Tua back off him. Here comes Tua now on the inside. Two left hooks and then the right hand. It's, it's too little, too late. Look at this exchange. Tua head hunting. He's Ike. not landing, though. Oh, oh good shot. Was Ibe, a pace that was unmatched by Tua. Tua with his power punching. But at the end of the 11th round, it was the left hook, Ike, that got everyone's attention. Tua lunging, looking for that left hook. Ibeabuchi still.
Both punching in combinations. Shoulder to shoulder. There's the left hook right hand combination. Throws five punches in that sequence. Ibea Bucci. He answers him back every time. He takes all the play away. Now they go swinging Big in the shot. middle of the ring. That's what they needed. Look at this. Nice way to end it. Very, very active heavyweight fight. Judge Young scores this fight 117 111. Judge Ellis Bruce sees it 115 114. Judge Jordan scores this fight 116 113. Unanimous decision in favor of the new WBC International Heavyweight Champion, Ike, the president, Ibea Bucci. Attention, Ibea Bucci. heavyweight division. Ike Abea Bucci has arrived. He beat John Ruiz, who took Ivana Holyfield the distance in 19 seconds. World title fight number 14 for Lennox Lewis, who looked to dominate behind his jab. Two are going for that left hook early. Great right hand from Lewis there too, just mixing it up. Can he put two on to the back foot? If he can do that and stop the Samoan coming forward, then I think two is in big trouble. Oh, the oh, coming oh. in very low. Watch for Lewis to land that long right hand. That's what he's going to look for. He's going to try and hurt Tua early. Tua gave him a smirk then. It's a fast start from Lewis. He loves that overhand right. He's got the problem of having to punch down, and Tua wasn't far away with that left hook. Well, Tua has to launch himself like a little bomb as he comes forward towards Lennox. What happens if one of those lands? How many punches will he have to take to get in position? To a here, Glenn. That's the right hand. That's the punch that has stopped. Great right hand too. To a not difficult to hit. Yeah, especially when Tua isn't doing anything. So we will be waiting to get his punches off. There goes the attempted left hook, and he got it caught up in the ropes that time, Tua. Well, Lewis not throwing out the punches that he needs to do. He needs to keep Tua off with good punches. Having a look at Tua, what's he going to be like when he starts unloading? With this performance, they respect him. That's a very good right when he feels he's done that a bit took the sting out of tour and shouting out from lewis's corner harold knight gears change and then feel the power bit by bit right hand from tour that's a really good body shot from lewis doubles up on the jab for good measure just takes Tua to school maybe even university ref making any too many mistakes and Lennox, if he keeps doing this, he's going to run away with this. Seconds out, it's been a corner. Audley Harrison, Britain's oh. Olympic, oh. Bo Holyfield fame. Well, we don't want anything as exciting as the paraglide, especially when we're indoors. Great right hand from Lewis. He's not having that much trouble punching down here. In there strategically against the man in front of him. Sometimes classy right hand. Changing the angle. But Lennox Lewis possesses. It's just a boxing lesson at the moment from Lennox Lewis. To his left eye is swelling up. Glass from Lewis again. How much is all of this taking out of Tua mentally as well? But is there one huge moment of drama yet to come here? Oh, big, big left hook. Tua took the punch. He's got a great chin. That might have floored a lot of men. Lewis the confidence now, he's just beginning a little dance. Look at Lennox, he might be lining up something here. 
Telegraph the left hook and Lewis makes him pay here with a whole series of punches in bunches. Tua looks disorganised. I think Tua quite honestly knows he's getting a boxing lesson in there. Twice more misses with the left hook. Lewis's reflexes are remarkable for a man of his age. Well, 35's not that bad. He's hardly got a mark on him. Switching the angles here. three-minute finish for David Tour against Monty Barrett. Two guns. This is redemption. This is the final showdown. We saw another stumble there from Monty Barrett. I don't think he was hit. It was more of a slip. The crowd are on their feet. His corner did a lot of work to bring him around. Big overhand right there from Monty. He doesn't need to engage. Just needs to keep Tour on the He just needs to stay out of trouble. Tour is the one that needs to land the big blow. And he needs to land more than just one. 30 seconds gone. And I'm sprayed by the sweat off Monty Barrett's brow as they sit above us, wrestling in the corner. Monty Barrett still standing. Two minutes to go in this fight. Tripling up on the jab. Quadrupling up on the jab. What can Tua do here? Course. He needs to land the big left. He's just done that. He needs yeah, to do it again. Back it up with the left and the right. Over the top. Barrett snucks away. Tua's getting tied up. He needs to step back and let his arms fly. Getting tied up. He needs to be fired up. Misses with that left. Has he left it too late? Monty Barrett talking to him in the clutch. Oh, too. missed with a huge overhand right. 
Monty Barrett just digging away, tying him up, keeping his eyes on his man. A minute 30 to go, 90 seconds. David Tua has a lot. Tua to went do. down in their first fight. He Easily needs Barrett to go to down right on hand. this one. Oh, he needs him to stay down. Exactly. There's no question. A knockdown will not do it. There's a nice little counter right hand from David Tua. A minute 15. Barrett tying him up. He can afford to lose a couple of points for holding. David Tua needs the best 60 seconds of his boxing career. Oh, to go for David Tua. And he's got one, two. That's one, two, three. There it is. There it is. He won at 60 seconds. Oh, it's not over. It is not over. He has got this fight won if he can get up. 48 seconds from Monty Barrett. He needs to finish him off now. He needs to finish him off. Barrett's going to tug him. Hold him. Frustrate him. Tua needs to get some punching moves. Needs to get that uppercut. Needs to put him on the canvas. Seconds. Can't name Remember the target. Tua. Oh, what a finish. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Crowd are on their feet. The boxers are out on their feet. Problem for Tua for is... David Tua in this fight. Oh, Barrett is not out on his feet. Monty Barrett's found his legs again. Ten seconds. Ten seconds to go. Tua swinging, missing. Can't quite now. The big punch misses again. Barrett ties him up. Well, there's the fight. No question. Monty Barrett. They should have won. Your winner by unanimous decision. Monty Barrett. There it is. He caught him high in the cheek. No, no power here. Gets the body, catches him with the left hand. He just doesn't look that, that strong. His day to the body. The power is certainly there. It is from Tura again. Comes again, go. Has the left hand. That's the first time that Ustinov has been backed up. It's something. This is tough stuff for David. It's not easy. Oh, the big body shot. Break. Buried that in the ribs. Break. Long uppercut. There's a right the right this time. You know, from Houston off. That's oh, a big right hand. A solid right hand. That shifted David. It, but if he makes him miss, he's got to make him pay. Lose this round, too. Just don't get caught at the end of the round. Because this guy. Big Bang. hard shot. Really hard to the body. Yeah, he, he wants to throw that right hand. He knows he needs to throw it. It's just can he pull the trigger? David can't wait any longer. There's the right hand. He showed it a few times early. Leave him an option to come back with another one. That left hook. That was a good left hook. That's the best left hook of the day. Really? David grazes him with the left. Houston up has won almost every round. I did give David the last two rounds. Mike wasn't. We're down. Losing time. Tick tock. Tick tock for David Tour. Houston up is attacking. How about that? Who well, cares? Yeah. Blast him low. Do anything you Pass have to. You've only got 53 Pass Pass seconds. Pass See, he's very clever. I mean, he's not listening to the Cali now. He doesn't doesn't care if he loses a point. He's well ahead. Yeah. There's a David caught him with the left hook. But, but it's not enough. He's got to get his arms free. There's not going to be a knockout. But David Tua, right. I think, will right. live to fight right. again. Decision fighting out of the blue corner. Alexander. Oh. С огромным счетом, Мишель. С огромным счетом.